and uh, Joseph Parker will never have had the heat that's going to be brought to him on the 26th of October. Bellboy, back from uh, LA. Had a good, fun sit down with Mr. Parker. Got the up. Derek Chisora. Yes, yes, yes. Derek Chisora absolutely does his nut, goes mad at the launch press conference for Pro Grace versus Taylor. And let me get some music crunk up in here. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the music? Where is the music? Okay, let's go. Okay. Start this official. It's now official. Let's get the volume. Okay. All right, let's go. Opportunity to look him in the eye. You've won in this fight for a, a long time. And uh, everyone expecting fireworks from Chisora against Josie Parker. Yeah, um, there's a couple of questions I listen to. Just clear right now as we see up here. Uh, who's the main event of this fight? Mm-hmm. Who's the main event? Yeah. It's the, the gentleman sitting next to you. Oh, yeah. Mate, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, I'm not going to sell out all two for them guys to be the main event. So uh, I'm not going to be like chief support to these guys. We need to change that. I'm bringing water, so I'm not playing that. I'm not going to be chief support. Simple as. Playing like, on box office because was, these guys want to sell box office by themselves. So fuck that. So why will you give me main event off? Put me on the fucking show. Okay. Let's talk about that fight. No, I'm just being serious. You're trying to bombard me like you want me to sell it out to my London crowd, my London fans. And then you want to put these little guys, nobody knows about them, on my show, and then try and make mug me off. Fuck that. I'm being serious. Okay? You know this is not right. You need to fuck them. My Muhammad Ali trophy, nobody gives a fuck about it no more. Nobody gives a fuck about little guys anymore. They all give a fuck about the heavyweight game, the big guys in the top 10, the big guys. Yeah? The boxing runner is thriving on the heavyweights. So for you to try and give me the chief support on my own bill, that's bollocks. We number one, number two. Huh? We number one, number two. Who's number one, bro? Nobody cares about you, bro. Let's all be honest. We number one, number two. Yo, 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 yo! Don't get me started, bro. We number question. one, number two. Yo, I don't give a shit. Am I taking the main stage, yes or no? If I'm not, I want more money. Yeah, I'm gonna pass over to you here. <laughs> oh, Adam, one of you. Adam, 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 who's taking the main event? You're not answering me because I'm gonna go fucking ballistic now. Don't make Derek go ballistic. Adam, over to you. <laughs> yeah, I want more money. I'm not fucking selling out the old team for these guys to come and take my fans. No, if that's the case, pull me out of it. Pull me out of it, and then it won't be a box office. For sure, for sure. I'm tired of fucking just selling your shows and me not making money. So give me some of that fucking money you're making, let me put it in my pocket. Yo. I thought so they're two fantastic fights, and the crowd, and the and the consumers, and the customers, and everyone's going to be happy. So let's get on with it. Yeah, we're going to get on with it. Did you tell me, am I going to be the main? <laughs> <laughs> let's get on with it. Shut up. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Pay me. If you pay me. If, that, if I'm not, give me more money. And then we can get to business. I'm sorry for doing this right now, but I'm just, I feel like you're just fucking me with no Vaseline. Oh, dear. That is it. Kella, I bet you. Only trophy. Nobody gives a fuck about Ali Trophy, man. It's past date, man. The heavyweights are back now. You know, Mike Tyson said it. When AJ knocked out Lenny, what's called uh, Klitschko, he said, no more money to the small guys. The money's gone back to the heavyweights, yeah? And that's it, yeah? We haven't heard about the Ali Trophy for the last six months. And then now they want to jump on our fucking show. Oh, you know, Sky, Derek, something else. Derek. Man, fuck that. Give me more money and we can get the business. If you can't, just tell me you can't. Right, I'll introduce the fighters. Um, the number two seed, the IBF world champion, um, the Tartan Tornado, with a perfect record of 15 0, and someone who has beaten on his way here to. Tell him we've got boxing fucking Glasgow, mate. And sell out Glasgow, let's see it. And if people go buy those tickets in Glasgow, that's it, man. Shizzle. So you let me do my thing, and you talk to Fuck off. Can you talk to Eddie later? Oh, oh, talk to Eddie um, later. The Tartan oh, Tornado, dear. Mr. Josh Taylor. Oh, dear. Follow that, Josh. All right, everybody, how's it going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> awkward, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, first thing fighting here in London. Oh, dear. Uh, headline in it, though, too. Oh, dear. Um, so, I am. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Derek. Derek. What are you doing, Derek? Bloody hell, Derek. Oh, dear. Who's she? Anyway. 
Yeah. What can one say about Derek's outburst? Derek Chizora. 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 Blimey. That came out of left field. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Uh, for a few seconds, I thought, Derek, Derek, now Derek, what are you doing, Derek? But you know, thinking about it, who is the headline on that card? Look at the names. Who should be headline on that card? I think it's who are the most established, who are the more established fighters? Progress and Taylor or Chisora Parker? I think it's Chisora Parker. But Matchroom are employing a very intelligent strategy. They did it for the, the Campbell, or should I say the Lomachenko Campbell fight that we just saw. We just did a live on. Cover the card over here, Rafael Dawkins Combat Radio. Cover the live card with the live show, as we usually do. Right about in this in this area, and uh, it was a clever strategy employed by Matchroom Eddie Hearn. They had the little guys as the headline. Quality, quality quality fighters but they backed it up almost guaranteed success by having the likes of Yui Fury and Alexander Povetkin as the chief bout on the undercard so effectively what you had was a co-main event in the form of Povetkin and Fury, Huey Fury. You effectively had a co-main event, but were they paid as co-main eventers? Were they paid as co-main? Did, did Huey Fury deserve, deserve to be paid as a co-main event? No, they're just coming up. But Povetkin may have had a stronger argument, but certainly the same strategy appears to be, empl be employed here is being employed here, excuse me, getting a bit of little tongue tied and twisted. The same strategy of having a main event with two lighter guys, two light guys as the main event, but bolstering it up, bolstering it up and as the main supporting beam, so to speak, having two well known, well established. Heavyweight, boxers, high ranking, higher ranking, heavyweight, well known heavyweight boxers as the main supporting beam on a show being headlined by lighter fighters. Yeah, I think Chizora has a point. <laughs> he has a, uh, an, an interesting way of expressing himself. But uh, he certainly got the message across. Was he wrong? Is what he's saying wrong? I don't particularly think it is wrong. I think Chizora has a very good point. Very good point indeed. Uh, clearly there's a time and a place for everything one could say, one could suggest. But Matchroom are using a very clever tactic People are sometimes reluctant to fork out for the littler guys, but not so reluctant to fork out for the bigger guys. Many people will be going to the O2 arena to see the big guys, the heavy guys. Chazora and Parker, maybe even 50%. Could it be argued that 50% will be most looking forward to the heavyweight clash who attend the O2 arena? And if that is the case, then does Chizora not have a case? I'm not going to keep this too long. It's lunchtime. I got to get my lunchtime grubbing me. But came home to see this 
and I had to feed the people. I had to get this one done quick, on the quick fast, and feed the people. Chazora goes nuts at the launch press conference of Progress versus Taylor. Man has a point. Who are the bigger names? Who are the bigger names? Who are people? Who's got the most name recognition on that card? We got Progress versus Taylor. Main supporting event, Chizora versus Parker. Engabu versus Okoli. Burns versus Selby. That's the lineup. Who would you say are the main names on that lineup? Progress versus Taylor or Chisora versus Parker. Parker, you be the judge. It's a lunchtime thing. From Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and for sure, hit that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And for sure, follow me on Twitter. When the notifications on YouTube fail, Twitter comes through. Let's have some final words from Derek Chisora. If I'm not, I want more money. Kala, I'm going to pass over to you here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adam? Well, yeah. Adam, Adam, who's taking the main event? You're not answering me because I'm going to go fucking ballistic now. Yeah, I want more money. I'm not fucking selling out OT for these guys to come and take my fans. No, if that's the case, pull me out of it. Pull me out of it and then you won't be a box office. Sure, I'm tired of fucking the selling your shows and you know making money. So give me some of that fucking money you're making. Let me put it in my pocket. My thoughts are two fantastic fights and the crowd and the and the Damn. consumers and the customers and everyone's going to be happy. So let's get on with it. Yeah, we're going to get on. And you tell me, am I going to be the main event? If I'm not, give me more money, and then we can get to business. I'm sorry for doing this right now, but I'm just I feel like you just fucking me with no Vaseline. Oh, oh, oh! That is it? Sounds painful. Keller, Sounds painful. Ali Trophy? Nobody gives a fuck about Ali Trophy, man. It's past date, man. The heavyweights are back now. You know, Mike Tyson said it. When AJ knocked out Lenny uh, Klitschko, he said, no more money to the small guys. The money's gone back to the heavyweights. Yeah? Dang. That's it. Yeah? We haven't heard about the Ali Trophy for the last six months. And then now they want to jump on our fucking show, you know, on Sky, because something else is going on. Fuck that. Give me more money and we can get to business.